Next is state true or false. Now there are three to four sub questions to this. If x equals to two plus one upon two plus one upon blah blah blah, it goes on continuing. So we have to check whether x is equals to zero or not. Okay. Now x equals to two plus. See this. This whole term can be written as x again. So x equals to two plus one upon x. So solve this. 2x plus 1 upon x, then x square equals to 2x plus 1. Therefore, x square minus 2x minus 1 equals to 0. Now, input. Sorry, we have to check x equals to square root of 2 or not. That's what the question, not 0. So, true or false? x equals to square root of 2. So, up till now, see here. We are, we are here. x, then x square equals to 2x plus 1. Now, what we do? We'll input the value of x as square root of 2. So it becomes root 2 square means 2 minus 2 root 2 minus 1. So 2 minus 1 is 1. 1 minus root 2. Right? If you input it in, in this. So is this equal to root 2? No. So the statement is false. Next, a line segment AB of length 2 meters is divided at C in two parts such that AC square equals to AB into CB. Then the length of the part CB is 3 plus square root of 5. Is it true or false? So what are the two conditions given? AB is divided by C into two parts such that AC square equals to AB square into CB. Okay? And CB is given as 3 plus square root of 5. This is what we have to check actually. So, let's say BC equals to X. Therefore, AC will be equals to what? 2 minus X. Right? Now, check the condition. 2 minus X, the whole square, AC square, equals to AB into CB. Right? So, AB into CB is... Okay, let's solve this only. So, 2 minus X, the whole square, equals to 4 minus 4X plus X square. This is left hand side. Now, right hand side. AB into CB. So, AB is what 2 and CB is what X we have taken. So, 2X. Therefore, is 2 minus X the whole square means this equals to 2X? No. That's why this statement is again false. Next, every quadratic equation can have at most two real roots. That's true. Why? Because quadratic means 2 and real means, real means not containing the uh, imaginary number means I. Here, how are imaginary numbers shown? 2 plus i3. That is an imaginary number. These imaginary numbers cannot be shown on the number line. And real numbers can be shown on the number line. So, this statement is true. Next, a real number p is said to be the root of a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0 if ap square plus bp plus c equals to 0. So, it means that if you input the value of p in this instead of x, you must get 0. So, that is true. Every root must satisfy the equation. So, if alpha or p is the root of the equation this, then a alpha square plus b alpha plus c should be equal to 0. Or if p is the root in our case, then ap square plus bp plus c should be equal to 0. So, that's why it is true. Next, if the roots of an equation x square plus 2cx plus ab equals to 0 are real and unequal, then the equation x square minus 2 into a plus b into x plus a square plus b square plus 2c square equals to 0 has a 